So let me ask you kind of like the question. Um, first of all, what do you want people to take away from your book, from your articles that you write on the frontal cortex, from um, your articles that you write for the various magazines, et cetera, et cetera? I mean, it, it's hard to pick out a single theme. Um, I think from how we decide, the theme is to practice, the fancy word is metacognition, to think right. about thinking. Um, and that by thinking about thinking, we can actually learn how to think better. And that's why this new neuroscientific research can actually be useful. By understanding how these three pounds of gelatinous meat work inside your head, you can actually get the meat to work a little bit to work a little bit better. You can actually get your mind to work better by knowing simply about how it works. So can that be applied to, say, because you, you spend a lot of time in the book talking about like, you know, how, how decisions are made with regard to sports and all, all these other examples that are really interesting. But I'm thinking about like, what happens when you're in your day-to-day -day life and you have to deal with, do I decide to flip out on this person or do I hold it in? Do I, you know, how does, someone make long-term decisions as far as becoming You're a better person. You're asking about social interactions or about how to become a better person? Both. Well, you know, when it comes to dealing with other people, to having compassion, I, I, I think the, the key thing is to realize that humans, contrary to what you know, we believe for a long time, you know, we're, we like think of ourselves as Hobbesian brutes, we're these Darwinian creatures who are just selfish and out for ourselves, when you actually look at the mind, you realize that we're actually pretty well programmed for compassion, that we naturally understand and intuit what other people are feeling, which is a pretty astonishing mental talent, that I can look at you and look at, and just by based on your facial muscles, interpret what, what you're actually thinking, which is, when is he gonna shut up? Um, no, or, that's or not time, it! Or, or, or whatever you're thinking at the moment, but, but, but I, can, I can enter, you know, I can have a theory of your mind, as it's called. And what that allows us to do is to actually be compassionate towards others. We, we can, you know, I might stop talking because I can sense that you're anxious and bored or whatever. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm just projecting right. here. But, but, but so that, that's an astonishing mental talent. I think, you know, once we realize that we have this talent and often we just simply ignore it, I think that's the key to actually becoming more compassionate. It's realizing that I can look at anybody and have a pretty good model of what they're actually feeling at that moment. And instead of simply ignoring that or brushing it aside, to actually try to cultivate that. I think that's, that's, that's the key to becoming a more socially intelligent and, and ultimately more compassionate person, is knowing that every action we, we take will actually influence what someone else is feeling and, then, uh, and, and have these elaborate repercussions. I love it, I love it. Um, okay, let me tell you before we go what I was actually thinking. Because <laughs> I feel like the need no, to... I didn't need to project. No, 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 you're fine. To... I think... Quite honestly, that aside from your bone structure and your general good looks, and I've been walking around this campus you, calling you, you. You're trying to make me blush. No, I'm saying I, I, I have been going around this campus literally telling people that uh, you are what I like to refer to as the chic geek. Okay. The chic geek. Yes. Uh, that may be my subtitle from now on. The yes. chic geek. I'll tell my editor why the chic geek. Lair. Um, <laughs> but um, I think I think you're a great person. I think you're very insightful, and I'm very excited to see. How do you blow up? How do you blow up in the coming years? Because I really think that more and more people are gonna get behind you and realize the, the like, with a tagline like the Sheik Geek. What's <laughs> what's what's in my path? What could possibly geeks. hold me back? The Sheik Geek frontal cortex. I love it. I love it. All right, Charlie, it's been fabulous. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys, you can check out John O'Leary's uh, new book, How We Decide. It's on uh, bookstore shelves now. And uh, stop on over to his blog, The Frontal Cortex, and if you pick up an a, a issue of Wired Magazine, go check out something in there that may be written by Jonah. And yeah, just keep tabs on him. And thank you for watching Talk of the Hell. We'll be back.